in humans, we have 22 matched pairs of chromosomes. We've got 22 matched pairs of chromosomes. And then what determines if we're a male or a female are the sex chromosomes. So we've got one pair of sex chromosomes. So we've got one pair of sex chromosomes. This gives us a total of 23 pairs, a total of 23 pairs. In this video, we're going to look at how sex-linked genetic disorders are inherited. So what I'm drawing here are the female sex chromosomes. So a woman will have XX chromosomes. Whereas if it's a man, the man's going to have one X chromosome and then a Y chromosome. Let's imagine that this woman here on one of her sex chromosomes, so one of her X chromosomes, she is carrying the recessive allele for a disease. So she's carrying the recessive allele for a disease. Whereas on her other X chromosome, she is carrying the healthy dominant allele. So she's carrying the healthy dominant allele on this X chromosome. So this woman is going to be a healthy woman as the dominant allele is expressed and not the disease allele. So not the recessive allele. So she's not going to have the disease. So if we now look at the man, the man's X chromosome is also carrying the diseased recessive allele. So he has got the recessive allele for a disease. And this is on his X chromosome. But what about his Y chromosome? The Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome. So if we look here, there's going to be parts of the chromosome missing. So the top bit here is missing, and so is the bottom bit here. So remember, the Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome. So in this case, the Y chromosome cannot have the allele that exists on the X chromosome because it is shorter. It doesn't have those genes. This is because some part of the chromosome is actually missing. So this man is going to have the disease. This is because there is no dominant allele on the Y chromosome as the section is missing. So therefore, the recessive allele is expressed without the need for a second recessive allele, where normally you would need two recessive alleles for the disease to be expressed. In this case, you only need one because there's no dominant allele to cancel the effects of the recessive allele for the disease. So what does this look like then when we come to a genetic cross diagram? Well, this woman chromosomes are XX because she's a woman and on one of the chromosomes she's carrying the dominant allele the big R and on her other X chromosome she's got the recessive allele for the disease so this is a recessive linked disease so on one of her X chromosomes she's carrying the dominant normal allele which makes sure she's healthy but on her other X chromosome she is a carrier of the recessive allele for the disease so she is not suffering from the disease, but she is a carrier of that allele for the disease. Let's now look at the man. He's got the sex chromosomes X and Y. On his X chromosome, he is carrying the dominant allele. So he is not carrying the disease. And because this allele is found on the missing part of the Y chromosome, his Y chromosome doesn't have the dominant or recessive allele on his Y chromosome. So he's only carrying the dominant normal allele on his X chromosome. So we're now going to do a genetic cross using a Punnett square. So the possible gametes for the man are going to be X and Y. And the possible gametes for a woman are going to be X or X. We are, however, looking at the alleles carried on the sex chromosomes. So both of them are carrying the normal dominant allele, big R, whereas the woman she is carrying the disease recessive allele on her other X chromosome. So now let's do the genetic cross. So the children can be XX, which will be a girl. However, they're both going to inherit the dominant allele of both mum and dad. Whereas this girl here is going to be XX, and she's going to inherit the dominant allele from dad and the recessive disease allele from mum. Let's look at the boys. So they're going to inherit the big R dominant allele from mum and then the Y allele from dad. But this last child here is going to inherit the X small r recessive allele from mum and then the Y chromosome from dad, which means that they're going to have the disease. These are the possible genotypes that the children can have. So this one here, XX, is going to be a healthy girl because she's got both of the dominant normal alleles. This next girl, XX, she's going to be healthy because she's got the dominant normal allele but she is a carrier of the 
recessive disease allele. So this is a boy, XY, but he is healthy because he is carrying the big R dominant allele from mum. Whereas this boy here, XY, he has inherited one recessive allele, so he has got the disease. He does not have the dominant allele to prevent the expression of the recessive allele, so he does not need two recessive alleles like you normally would because it's a sex-linked disease. So only the male can get this sex-linked disease in this example. Let's have a look at the inheritance of this sex chromosome-linked disease. So this woman has the chromosomes XX, and both of her X chromosomes have the recessive allele on it for the disease, so she has the disease. Because she's got two recessive alleles, this is the male. The male has the chromosomes X, Y. That determines he is a male. However, his X chromosome carries the dominant allele, so he has no disease. He is healthy. He has the dominant big R allele, which means he's healthy, and he's got no allele on his Y chromosome because that section of his Y chromosome is missing where the allele should be. Press pause here to determine the percentage chances of which children are going to have the disease and which ones will not. So the possible gametes the woman will have will be XX, and both of her X chromosomes are going to be carrying the recessive allele for the disease, whereas the man's gametes can be X or Y, and his X chromosome is going to be carrying the allele for no disease, so he is healthy. So this child here in the first box will be XX, it will be a girl, and she's going to inherit the dominant allele from dad and the recessive allele from mum. This will be a girl as well, XX, and she's going to inherit the dominant allele from dad and the recessive allele from mum. This is going to be a boy, XY. This boy is going to receive the small r allele from mum and no allele from dad. So he will have the disease because it only requires one recessive allele in this case. This child here will be XY and will also be a boy and he's going to inherit the diseased recessive allele from mum. So no girls can get the disease. This is because both the girls have both inherited the dominant big R gene from dad, meaning that they're going to be healthy. Whereas both boys will get the disease. This is because both of them inherit the recessive small r allele from mum, which is the allele for the disease. This is because the recessive allele is expressed as there is no dominant allele to prevent the expression. And both of the girls are carriers of the recessive allele and their dominant allele is preventing the expression of this recessive allele, so they do not have the disease. Pause the video to attempt this six mark question. The answers are going to follow. So mum is XX, small r, small r. The dad is going to be XY, but the X is going to have the dominant allele. The Y chromosome doesn't have the allele for the disease. We now do a genetic cross diagram using a Punnett square. The female gametes can be XR, XR, and the male gametes can be X, big R, Y. So it'll be X, big R, X, little r, X, big R, X, little r, X, little r, Y, X, little r, Y. Mum can only pass her recessive little r allele onto her boys as well as her girls. Dad passes on his dominant big r allele to the girls but not the boys. Dad passes on the y chromosome without the allele for the disease onto his boys. Boys can only be x little r y which means they have the disease whereas the girls can only be x big r x little r which means they're carriers and have no disease. This is because only one recessive allele is needed for the disease to express in the boys.